In tonight's Money Watch, the price of a burger and fries could be going up, depending on what time of day it is. That's right, fast food giant Wendy's says it will introduce surge pricing in 2025 during its busiest hours. Well, it's getting a frosty reception as CBS's Jolene Kent takes a look at the latest way companies are squeezing consumers. Tonight, food is taking a bigger bite out of shoppers' incomes, the most in three decades. And be prepared to shell out more. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. Wendy's announced it'll start testing dynamic pricing on digital menu boards next year, a form of surge pricing like Uber and Lyft. Artificial intelligence will suggest menu items and determine whether to raise prices based on demand, location, and time. Wendy says, for example, it might suggest a cool frosty on a warm summer day. This will allow us to be more nimble and flexible with pricing. Why introduce this when customers can easily just go somewhere else? Clearly, the company is trying to find ways to boost its share price and improve its profit margins. But it could come at the expense of losing some faithful customers. Cereal! Beyond the burgers, Kellogg is also under fire after its CEO suggested consumers struggling with inflation could eat cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. Backlash online was swift. This fool making four million bucks a year. You think he's feeding his kids cereal for dinner? It's a tough sell because cereal prices have surged more than 25 percent compared to pre-pandemic. Well, it rings a little bit like the French Revolution, let them eat cereal, and it does sort of not read the room very well. Families are really struggling to afford bringing food to the table to feed everyone at the table, and now they're suggesting cereal for dinner. It just seems like he's missing the point here. What you pay for groceries continues to rise. The financial firm Moody's Analytics says that the average American right now is paying $1,200 more per year on groceries alone compared to three years ago. Nora. Jolene Kent, thank you so much.